Hey everyone, welcome to 16th basic JavaScript video in which I'm gonna finally introduce you to if else in JavaScript. Well, we have used it before, but let's just take a look at um, if else in our official video. Why not? So let's just create a variable. Let uh, my name is uh, Mehul, right? And now I'm gonna verify if my name it is actually Mehul or not. Well, we do not trust variables, right? They change all the time <laughs> okay so if my name is actually mehul well how do i do that well you see a single equal to sign means equality that means you're assigning assignment not really equality assignment so when you use single equal to sign you assign a value when you use a double equal to sign you check for that value right so double equal to sign would always return you either true or false, right? So if this is true, then I want to execute this block of code. And here I can say, um, let's see, I can say, well, the variable is still mehul, right? Hit save, we get, yeah, well, the variable is still mehul, so we can trust him, right? However, let's say I change my name to something else. Hit save. We do not get anything. Well, how do we map that? How do we determine that? If something works, I want to execute this block of code, this block. Else, if that is not the case, I want to, I want to um, run this block of code. I'm going to write console.log. This doesn't. Uh, or rather, we should say the value of the variable changed. Right? Well, I remember, hold on a second. We could also have something else as a value. So I'm going to say else if my name is uh, something else. And I'm gonna console log this. Else, if nothing is like that, I'm gonna say, what the hell happened? Right? Hit save. So we get the value of the variable is changed because this case is indeed true. And if I change it to like something else a little bit, so we get these question marks because, well, this is not really this, what we wrote in here. Right? So this is how basically a if else block looks like. You use if keyword inside your parenthesis goes the condition which has to be true for that particular block of code to be executed if it is not true then it moves on moves on to else if if it is true then it executes this and exits if this is still not true it will move down the chain come to else check and execute basically for else there's nothing to check so it will execute whatever it sees and would exit so I guess that's all basically. If else is quite simple to get hold of. That's all for this video and I'll see you then in the next one.